Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5. Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you with us today. TechCore's mission is to use science, technology, engineering, and math programs, educate and empower children. Its National Executive Director, Lisa Chambers, is here to tell us more about this program, which is now expanded nor Northeast Ohio. TechCore. Then Lou Fitz Antonio and Ed Babcock will be here to tell us about this year's Cleveland Auto Show. It's a big one, always is. And later in the broadcast after that, author Byron Demery will talk about his book, Forming a Strong Foundation for Your Life. We all need that, don't we? Good morning, everybody. I'm Leon Bibb. Glad to have you aboard. This is Kaleidoscope, and so we begin. Beginning with Lisa Chambers, National Executive Director of TechCore. Good to have you with us. Good to be here. Thank you. What is TechCore? So TechCore is a nonprofit organization that was started by Gary Beach back in 1995. And you can almost think of us as a high-tech Peace Corps. We rallied technology professionals and then connected them with schools in their community to share their technology uh, skills uh, with teachers and, and students. Mm -hmm. And so if you think back to the mid-90s and how we were using technology, mm -hmm. um, TechCore volunteers would spend weekends wiring buildings or installing computer labs. Um, but fast forward to today, and a majority of our volunteers spend time providing students with the skills that they need to be successful in the classroom, but also to start preparing for the workforce tomorrow. What grade levels are we talking about? We start with third graders, um, and we go all the way up to 12th. Um, what we know from the research is that fourth grade is actually the first drop-off point um, mm -hmm. in the STEM areas for a lot of students. So engaging them early, um, introducing these concepts will hopefully keep them in that pipeline uh, for the long term. So if you can reach them by the fourth grade, if you can get them over that fourth grade hump, they've got a, they've got a good chance of, of continuing and, and, and finding success and progress. It's, it's definitely, and especially that fourth grade piece is especially important for students of color mm -hmm. and girls yeah. um, who often will take too early the concepts that these areas aren't for them. Um, so our, our goal is to try to get them engaged, plant that seed early on, and then hopefully uh, turn out with a lot of engineers and computer scientists at the other end. I know you are uh, headquartered in Columbus, but how big a handprint does TechCore have? Sure. So we work around the state. Um, a concentration of our programs have been in Central Ohio, but thanks to great support from J.P. Morgan Chase and Time Warner Cable, um, they have helped us to expand um, our footprint up in Northeast Ohio. So the last two years, we have have been piloting some of our programs up here and it's been very well received so um, we will actually uh, hire in the next couple of months somebody full-time who will be on the ground here as we talk about technology and science do you work with the school systems or how do you how do you how do you how do you form your partnership sure um, so yes we, we the short answer is yes we do work with the schools um, but we also work any access point where children are. Um, so we also have developed great partnerships with um, nonprofit organizations here in Cleveland, like a University Settlement or Open Doors Ac Academy or Esperanza on the, on the west side. Um, and then we also deliver a lot of community-based programs. So we have programs on college campuses. So we're proud to say Case and Cleveland State are great partners of ours up here. So we're really, you're concentrating on, on, on technology, mm -hmm. uh, the sciences, and engineering, mm -hmm. things, things like that. And that, that's vital if we are to uh, remain competitive in this country it, exactly. when we look at the, what the children are doing in Scandinavia, Brazil, and other part, China, other exactly. parts of the world. Exactly. So what we know right now is that our U.S. Uh, universities are only generating enough computer science and engineers to fill a third of the anticipated job openings. So this is not just you know a set of skills that kids need today to be successful in their classroom, but we need to start preparing these kids um, for the long term yeah. to go into um, these careers. And so, so tech core programs are not uh, technology literacy programs. We're not teaching kids how to build a really 
fancy PowerPoint presentation. We're teaching them about the technology behind the technology. So these kids are learning coding, they're learning app development, they're um, working with robotics. So really trying to change their mindset from being great users of technology, which kids today are, um, to seeing themselves as the creators and the designers. Who should contact you to get involved with, with TechCore uh, here, here in Ohio, and certainly in Northeast Ohio? Sh should school systems contact you or individuals contact you? Sure. So there are a couple of different ways, right? So this summer, um, we have a number of uh, what we call techie camps. These are one week kind of deep dive experiences for elementary and middle school kids to learn about robotics or programming. Um, and so parents who are interested in, in finding a great learning experience for their children should contact us um, to get their children enrolled. Um, school districts who are interested in bringing tech core programs into their schools should definitely contact us. And then also companies who um, have large numbers of IT em employees who want to, they want to get out in the community um, and get engaged as volunteers should also uh, contact us. I want to put a phone number on the screen, uh, 614, that's in the Columbus area, 614-583-9211, or go to on your website, techcore, uh, that's T-E-C-H-C-O-R-P-S dot org, techcore dot org. I have a very good friend here in Cleveland, Dr. Julian Earls, what? who is a <laughs> former director of NASA, mm -hmm. uh, Glenn Research Center. Forty years he worked at NASA as a physicist, and he said he wanted to be a physicist and an engineer mm -hmm. when somebody came to his elementary school and spoke. And that day, he made the decision, that's what I want to do. And he has made a wonderful living, and has Julian has distinguished himself in so many ways. That's what you want for young people today. That's exactly what I want. And I know Dr. Earls. We were actually on a conference call yeah. a few weeks ago <laughs> okay. together. Um, and that is exactly true. So what we know is 75% of Nobel Prize winners in the sciences say that their spark for science happen in an informal education environment. So that is exactly what we want to do with the kids who come through our program. Plant that seed, make that connection. Um, so, 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 so let me give you an example. We have a wonderful group of technology volunteers from Progressive who go out in two schools in, um, here in yeah. Northeast Ohio and volunteer on a weekly, weekly basis with kids kids. What I'm sure kids know about Progressive is they probably know flow and they know it's insurance, right? Um, but do they know about the technology that's so, behind a company like Progressive? So we'll have people give you a phone call yes. or go to your website. We've got the numbers on the screen. Many thanks. Lisa Chambers, National Executive Director of TechCore. Good to have you on the broadcast. Thanks so much. It is my pleasure. I'm going to take a break. This is Kaleidoscope. I'll be right back in just a moment. Welcome back to more Kaleidoscope. Some exciting things are happening at this year's Cleveland Auto Show. The president of the Greater Cleveland Automobile Dealers Association, Lou Vitt Antonio, is here. And the chairman of the 2014 Cleveland Auto Show, Ed Babcock, is here as well. They're here to tell us all about it. Lou Vitt Antonio sitting on the right and Ed Babcock sitting on the left. Good to have you with us. Yeah. Welcome. Lou, it's, it's that time of the year, the auto show at the IX Center. This is another big one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Actually, it's, it's, it's quite larger than in the past. Um, we've got some more additional displays inside. Matter of fact, we have a ride and drive. In addition to you know being able to drive a Jeep inside the show, we're gonna have a Ram truck drive inside the show. And um, 14 brands are you gonna be able to take those cars off the IX Center property and drive them out on the streets. Is that right? Yeah. Right, right, right in, in the area of the yeah. IX? Right outside on 237, up and down, and it gives you the ability to really test drive the so car. So we can test drive the car yeah. right on right on a real roadway, right around Absolutely. the airport area. And, 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 and matter of fact, they even like it when it snows because it shows you what the <laughs> car's gonna what, do. what it can do. Yep, absolutely. Ed, you're, you're chair of the this Cleveland Auto Show and you're owner of Junction Auto Family Dealerships, so you've been in automobiles a long time. Yes, we have. You were telling me fourth generation? Yeah, we started in 1931, my grandfather and great-grandfather, and I'm fourth generation. My son's been with me a year, so he's actually fifth generation. So you bring all of that expertise to the auto show as chairman this year? I certainly hope so, but uh, most of the strength I've got to rely on the, those people at CADA do a great job. What, what are you looking forward to today? What are you, what are you highlighting today? Yeah. There's a lot of exciting things going on. Every day of the show, we're giving away a two-year lease on either a 2014 Buick Verano, or 2014 GMC Terrain. This is new. In the past, we've always given away a car, maybe two at the end of the show. 
This year we're giving away nine. Every day the show is open. Uh -huh. And it's open, uh, my notes tell me, March 1st through the 9th. Uh, uh, at, uh, at the IX Center, right next to the big airport there. That is correct. Hopkins airport. What do you want people to walk away with once they come? Of course, you'd like them to walk away with a contract for a new car. But, <laughs> but other than that, what would you want them to walk well, away with? Well, you can see so many cars in one place. 14 brands, you know, tens or probably hundreds of thousands of square feet, lots of displays. You can compare everything. It's a non-selling show, so it's not a pressure situation. You come out, there's free parking. And you can just see all the cars, all shiny and bright and nice and warm. So you can really kind of kind of look at, in a very comfortable setting, all, all under nice lights and all yes. of that. Lou, I understand the spirit of giving is part of the Cleveland Auto Show, too. You yeah, absolutely. Special. Um, Tell me you know, about that. You know, people coming to the show is one thing, being able to see all those different cars. But at the same time, we're, we're trying to give back. Um, you know, there's some I many issues that are out there, but hunger is certainly one of them. Mm -hmm. um, on February 28th, we have an employee appreciation night where the employees of the dealership come in. We give them a little bit of a sneak peek before we open to the public. Mm -hmm. We collected 16,000 pounds of food. So everybody that's coming in, we're asking for them to bring something with them. Um, we also asked uh, one of our partners to, instead of, instead of providing a sponsorship for the show let's take a little bit of that money and give it to uh, harvest for hunger as well so they're going to have a check and 16,000 pounds of food uh, that we expect good for you that's yeah. wonderful wonderful cause uh, and how are we do how are we doing in Detroit now how how are the big three doing generally speaking right now I think everybody is doing very well Ford the, Chrysler GM I think they're all doing very well mm -hmm. the uh, quality of the product the American automobile is second to none. Mm -hmm. I mean, quality is the price of poker. Everybody builds a very good car. Yeah. So not only are you going to have American cars there, you're going to have foreign cars there. Absolutely. Well. You Imports. Own, you, you, you got everything. We have everything. Everything from, uh, you know, the Chevrolets, the big three, all the way up to, we're going to have some Rolls Royce. We're going to have some Aston Martins. We're going to have some things that, that people really like to look at. Certainly would love to drive. Uh, but uh, certainly like to get a photo and, and, and see yeah, those vehicles. Certainly get a photograph of me yeah, in, in a Rolls Royce. That, that's probably the only time I get in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> that's about as close as I, I'm going to get to when one. When I get so. to the IX Center <laughs> and right. pose for a quick photograph. Yeah. That's right. That's but, right. But it's also a fun time now. You've got a big place out there you could we could play Cleveland Browns football there maybe we'd win more if we played there <laughs> but we could play football games in that IX Center because it is so large that helps you do what you want to do this year doesn't it yes it's a freestanding form so there's not little rooms you have to go to all the cars are there they're all displayed they're clean you can walk around, even with a very large crowd, you can still get up close and see the cars very well. Yeah, I will tell our audience here, you can find out more information by going to uh, clevelandautoshow.com, clevelandautoshow.com, find out more information on everything that we've been talking about. And once again, the auto show runs March the 1st through the 9th at the IX Center, which is right next door to Cleveland Hopkins Airport. Mm -hmm. It's always a big show, Lou. It is. It, we certainly have uh, the size, you know, just like Ed was talking about, the facility itself the ability to have all those things under one roof um, we have classic cars where you know people are giving us their cars for about uh, 10 days for the show they can show those off uh, we certainly don't charge to park you know we have people we want people coming in having a, a very enjoyable time and it's a family event Leon yeah and we've got Ed Babcock he's chair of the Cleveland Auto Show and owner of Junction Auto Family Dealerships you yes, might sir. as well tell us what kind of vehicles uh, Junction Auto Family Dealerships yeah uh, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Buick and GMC you got them all don't you we try okay we'll kick the tires on something and and sign the contract. All right. Okay, many thanks, gentlemen. Thanks for being with us. Lou okay. Antonio and Ed Pap Babcock of the Cleveland Automobile uh, Show out at the IX Center runs March 1st through the 9th. It's a big, big show and a good show. Okay. I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back in just a moment. This is Kaleidoscope. I'm Leon Bibb. Back shortly. My next guest on the broadcast is author Byron Dimery, and he's here to tell us about his book, Forming a Strong Foundation for Your Life. Good to have you with us, Byron. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tell, tell me about it. Uh, uh, you, what, what prompted you to write a book about forming strong foundations? Well, several years, of, several years ago, I was working with a pilot mentoring program here in East High School. Mm -hmm. uh, long story short, after the program ended, 
individually, I thought about what I could personally do to give guidance to the young people, and this is one of the efforts of that, mm -hmm. that vision. You're targeting the young people on this. That, that, that's you're really aiming this book at, right? Yeah, ages 12 or 12 and up. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. what, what, what do you want them to know? Well, what's important for them to know? Well, what I want them to know um, is, is it's important for them to brand themselves. In the book, I highlight the characteristics of self-confidence, self-respect, and work ethic. Those are priorities to me, in my opinion, for them to form a strong foundation. And I want them to start developing those characteristics early, mm -hmm. not late, but early in their livelihood. And if they can develop this and put this as part of their overall character, they will find successes all along the way in life. Agreed. Agreed. Mm -hmm. All along the way in life. I wish somebody would have maybe told me this when I was, was younger and I want to try to teach the young people as they come up out of that middle school age. You learned a different way? No, I want to say I learned a different way. I don't think it was impressed um, as early. I think early everything is so competitive now. I think that the younger people, while they're having fun, there's nothing wrong with having fun, I want them to have a, a more of an idea of what do I want for out of my life mm -hmm. and start to think about that maybe at an earlier age before yeah. they get to high school. What would you think would be one of the, one of the, the main things you want them to understand as, the, as they try to form a foundation for their lives? Well, number one, um, if you want true success for your life, it's going to cost and require some work. Um, me and writing this book requires some work. Obviously, and to get to where you want to go, you got to persevere. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have obstacles, difficulties, setbacks. You've got to learn to regroup and keep going and learn to persevere through those situations. Things in life are just not always going to work out the way that you would want them to be. Isn't that the truth? There yes, are always turns and bumps in the road of life. I mean, if you haven't had some, some bad news come your way, just keep on living, somebody. It, it will come your way, but it's how you deal with, 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 with that Yeah, news. how you deal with it, and I believe if they begin to, to set the foundation early, they'll mm -hmm. live those, through those experiences and have the confidence yeah. to keep going and know how to keep striving in the midst of going through tough times. Life isn't fair all the time. Do you have children? Yes, I do. You're instilling this in your children, I'm certain. Yes, my daughter is, is seven. I have a son that is three, mm -hmm. and I have a newborn, too. So mm -hmm. definitely want to instill those characteristics into my children. Where can, where can we find the book, Byron, Byron Demery? Uh, the book was recently released uh, electronically on Amazon, so you can definitely find it there. Also, the book has a website, www.formingastrongfoundationforyourlife.com. Once mm -hmm. again, that's www.formingastrong foundationforyourlife.com. You can go there and get purchasing info as well as read some reader's testimonials, uh, get a sample chapter of the book, and read more about myself, the author. Mm -hmm. Do you want these youngsters to, to pick up a book? There's something about a book that is a lot different from, from, uh, from high-tech stuff. There's something about actually holding a book in your hand as I hold your, your, your book, mm -hmm. Byron Demery, in my hand right now, and flipping through the pages. There's something about holding a book that I especially like. Yeah, same thing as if you're reading, you know, the Bible, for instance, Leanna, you're reading through the pages, holding that Bible, looking through those verses, give you more of a tangible, physical presence, mm -hmm. you know, in my opinion, sometimes. Mm -hmm. You tell kids about the importance of education? Yes, the book definitely stresses and highlights the importance of education. I tell the young people, that is your brand right now. How you do in school is, is branding. You're telling yourself if you care and love yourself is how you do in school. So when you get those progress reports and those report cards, you should be proud of what you're getting. Mm -hmm. If you're not proud, you need to say to yourself, what's going on? How can I do better? Because you have to learn to value yourself before you worry about anybody else doing so. I like your use of the word brand. You've used it about three times now since mm -hmm. we've been talking for the last several minutes. What do you mean by branding yourself? Branding yourself, being who, who you are and being the best person, who that person is. You know, we're all different. I'm different. You're different. Mm -hmm. Everybody is different. Working on becoming the best you. And sometimes that takes you through changes in development. But I want you to stay true to who you are, but work on becoming the best person that you can be. Being the best you can be, realizing uh, w what you're all about. And this is how you want to be, how you want to be shown to the public. You want to be known as reliable, strong, successful, and doing the right thing. Yeah, reliable, strong, doing the right thing, knowing how to properly speak, dress, eat, posture, everything. Mm -hmm. It's your professional appearance, how you're branding yourself, to the world. And staying out of trouble? 
I'll definitely stand out of trouble. I mean, I, obviously, like I said earlier in the show, I want the young people to have fun, but obviously have a, a conscience and boundary about the fun that you're having. Mm -hmm. Understand that it's a safe zone that you may not want to cross. Yeah. The name of the book is Forming a Strong Foundation for Your Life. Byron Demery is its author, lives right here in the greater Cleveland area. Yes, I do. Good to have you on the broadcast, Byron. And you can get this at Amazon.com. Yes, I can. Yes, you oh, can. and you can also find more information by going to Forming a Strong Foundation for Your Life.com. More information on his website right there. Thank you, Byron. Good to have you on the broadcast. Thank you. It is my pleasure, indeed, my pleasure. I'm going to continue with Kaleidoscope. In a moment, Marsha Mockaby of the Urban League with her thoughts for today. We'll have to think about that next time. We will think about it right now with Marsha <laughs> Mockaby of the Urban League of Greater Cleveland in our segment called The Morning Exchange. Good. Hi, I'm Marsha. Hey, Leon. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. Listen, got some good news uh, yeah. about some things going on over at the Urban League. Um, we've had um, some rearrangements of some of our after-school programming, but we're ready to get started and get up and running again. So starting um, very soon now, uh, actually it'll be, the broadcast will uh, already air by the time we've started, but on February 18th, we're actually starting again with our uh, Ohio graduation test support and our ACT tutoring after school at the Urban League. How does that work now? Well, students can come uh, starting at 3.30, Monday through Thursday, and we do have some Friday activities as well. And then students are able to be tutored in math or reading or social studies or science, whatever area they really need help in. And then also the ACT support, we do uh, some pre-testing on the computer, and then we go in and deep dive and help them to strengthen the areas they need to be strengthened in. And you do this at your offices? We do this right there at 2930 Prospect Avenue mm -hmm. in our state-of-the-art computer lab yeah. and our classrooms on the first so floor. So people there. can call ahead and make sure, that yes. they make sure that they've got room there and the yeah. exact times of all of this. That's Absolutely and sign up let us know you're coming we provide a snack for the students. So. Oh, you, oh you're providing everything. Absolutely. The phone number to the uh, Urban League of, uh, of Greater Cleveland is 216-622-0999. Correct? Got oh, it. I got it right? That's exactly right. I got that in my speed <laughs> dial mind. Yeah 6, me 2, too. 2, 0, 9, 9. <laughs> so if kids come we got 20 seconds yes. remaining. If kids come there you can help them get ready for their math tests and all those other tests. We, we absolutely can and uh, these are certified teachers that are uh, excellent in working with students and building relationships with students and once the students come they keep coming back. I wish you guys were doing that when I was struggling with mathematics <laughs> Me in the too. seventh grade. <laughs> but I, I sneaked through one way yeah. or the other. Good to have you on the broadcast. Thank That's going to be good for us. Take care everybody right. and be well. Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5.